All right, I've recorded a few videos today, but I kind of just thought about this one now and I wanna put it out as quickly as I can. So obviously there are reports, at least for the United States, talking about how movie theaters are looking about reopening soon. While that is both a good and a bad thing because I've been missing me my movies, I haven't seen anything since the last movie I saw in theaters was The Invisible Man. Technically the last movie I saw to drive in was Indiana Jones 1 2, which I just saw about, what, like three weeks ago? But other than that, I have been missing the movie theater going experience. However, obviously there is the risk with COVID and there is obviously the risk of putting a bunch of people in a room. They're gonna have to half size the theater seats and then how do you do that with putting groups in? How do you have friends go and see the movie with each other if they can't be next to each other? It's gonna make the entire ticket buying process absolutely maddening. And that's just for the Americans. They haven't said anything about Canadian movie theaters opening. And this all relates to Mr. Nolan and his new film Tenant, which is supposedly still coming out in July. And while I say it is kind of a big risk to go to the movie theater to watch a movie, you know I'm gonna watch that movie in IMAX. I will bring 10 pounds of sanitizer if I have to. I will bring my own hazmat suit because I got to see me some Nolan in IMAX. But something that I kind of just was curious about, I went and looked at cineplex.com. I kind of wanted to see if they were even tempting or teasing the idea of being able to pre-order tickets for that movie because, and I know this from experience, cineplex.com's website fucking blows. It is unbelievable how terrible their website is. Their app is also dog shit. When the Force Awakens tickets went on sale, I understood that systems were going to get crashed. I understood that shit was going to be down for a little bit. That made sense to me. But when Endgame rolled around, I know Obviously, it's the most sought after movie of the year. It made a bajillion dollars. But you would have thought that Cineplex would have been like, hmm, maybe we should update our piece of shit app that is somehow twice the size of Landmarks, yet Landmarks moves as smooth as butter and ours is a constipated elephant. And also you might have thought maybe they could make the website better, but as they've proven in the last 10 years of updates, each one's fucking worse. And with the idea of seeing a movie in theaters being a possibility again, if they haven't done anything to fix their app or their website, apparently they've been making sales with their Cineplex store because some people are still chumps like that and good for them because I really hope that this has given them a stress test in some capacity because you know that the instant that the movie theaters say that they're gonna be a reopening, their website's gonna crash. At least Cineplex. I don't know about Landmark. I would see Landmark if there was one still near me, but there isn't anymore. It got shut down and demolished a while ago. The closest one is in Surrey and they don't have an IMAX, so I'm sorry. For a Nolan, you gotta see it in IMAX. It's, it's the way it's gotta be. So that means I have to go to the Cineplex website. I feel like I should already just take a punch into my ball. Just punch it into oblivion because that's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be pure goddamn fucking torture. In short, Cineplex, make your fucking online services better. They got bought out by Cineworld just recently. I'm hoping that they will change a few things. I've heard some rumblings about them wanting to improve a few things that have constantly been an issue with Cineplex including their website, including their app. The fact that the app is almost three times as large as Landmarks, which is a much better app. There's more inclusivity with it. You can have friends and shit. It's so simple. And technically at face value, the Cineplex app is also easy, yet it tries to reach out and claw your eyeballs out. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys when we get to see Tenant eventually.